Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Today's random is Samson. So Samson will do Samson stuff. Samson is pretty normal. He has one more fire rate delay than normal characters. So he's got the tiniest bit less fire rate to start. Oh, I'm never killing that dude. He wants to spawn those things. This is... Okay, we got him. It's fine. So, because this is the first floor, we have an advantage for getting hit. Samson has Bloody Lust, which gives a damage up each time you get hit on a floor. Up to six times. The first three are less damage. The second three are a lot more. But regardless, we've gained a decent amount of damage already. Figured I'd take that third hit immediately, just so I could use that heart. Sadly, the point after this floor is we can't really get hit, at least for red hearts. So I need to really not get hit at all, but if I have soul hearts, it's kind of okay, because soul hearts protect me a bit. Implied door right there. Not a useful top secret room, but it was there. Okay, that dude might drop a one makes you small. Be looking out for it. This guy might drop a one makes you larger, which I don't really want. But he didn't. I mean, even if he had dropped it. Okay, you're gonna be tough to hit, aren't you? Okay, he didn't drop one either. So yeah, after this floor, I'm really not looking to get hit. Especially if I don't have any soul hearts. So hopefully I find some. Like, tons of them, all the time. Alright, this is fine. Nice to two-shot those guys. Yeah, solid two shots. All right, get out of here. Totally going to the cursed room. Let's see what's in our sh item room first. All right, 0.3 damage up. Chance my tears concuss enemies, which causes quite the annoyance, honestly, because it makes them make weird movements that often result in me getting hit because it's so weird. But 0.3 damage up. And of course, I've been hit a couple extra times. So now I have a ton of damage on top of just the 0.3 damage up. Okay. And I'm gonna clear the floor because I'm already on terrible pace. I don't have any bombs, unfortunately, but I would like to. I'm just going to take this with me. Plan on not getting hit again. Shouldn't be too bad to do. I wish I could get that golden chest, though. Secret room's in a location I'd never guessed, pretty much, so that's cool. All right, Duke of Flies will be really easy because I'm totally going to one-shot all the flies. So this is how the Duke of Flies fight should always look, but you're never this lucky with damage. Health up by 1.3 damage up. Cool with me. So I've gotten 0.6 damage up that I actually get to keep. Cool. And that's actually a pretty decent amount. So I'm on solid track right now. Solid, solid track. Okay, you stay away from me. Let's see if we can make up some time now. Found my item room, so that'll help. 
No, thank you. I've had Ludo a few times recently. So I don't feel bad skipping it. Because I consider it rather bad. So, there you go. I'm just gonna move on. It's unfortunately special, so I'm less likely to see other special items that I might actually want. Though I don't know how many of them there are anymore, since a lot of the good special items were removed from the special list. I was gonna say, I hope this room drops a bomb. Alright, I'll open you. And overall, I just spent a key to get my bomb back. Alright. First tinted rock has always gotta be bad. It's just the rule. So now I will deal with this guy and any spiders he spawns. If he lets me deal with him. Otherwise I'll just be shooting at spiders all day. Unlimited bombs for the floor. That's pretty neat. See, I was right next to that dude and he didn't spawn a thing. But the other two that couldn't necessarily have a line of sight on me did. Nothing makes sense. Save me. Alright. Cool. That was probably worth it. Easy. Health up and a trinket drop. That spawns spiders for me occasionally. Alright, you win this round. Alright, Spirit of the Night gives me flight and spectral tears, so that's pretty nice. I can work with that. What do I want? Do I really want this thing? Sure, why not? So it follows me on a three second delay when I shoot through it. It doubles my tears and refreshes their range a little bit. It's not like great, but if you ever have a time where you can stand still, it's pretty darn useful. Ah, uh, can't be my secret room. I don't believe, because there were enemies there. That was worth the shot for a soul heart or two. Cool. See what you've got. A no thank you. What you've got. So to go along with my terrible pace, I may as well keep full clearing. Probably check the shop for a soul heart at this point. Since I need them. Or really even just one. Cool. I like it. And I can bomb as much as I want to get enough money. So let's see if you're the secret room. Nope. Definitely not. There are two other locations though, so it could work out. Cool. That increases the size and doubles the damage of my flies and spiders. And it actually hit me up with four cents, so I can buy the soul heart and just one bomb. Awesome luck. Top secret room should be here. Mm, that's solid. Will haunt. Also solid. Does two damage to enemies. Hunts them down a little bit. And can fear them, which kind of sucks, but... Whatever. I'll take it. Stuff that gives me more damage for now is welcome. Are you the secret room? Nah, it's next to the curse room. So I didn't even have to take damage to get in. That's cool though. Just gonna say maybe. 
maybe nothing makes sense in the world. Secret rooms in some dumb location that I don't even want to think about. Okay. I'm just going to not worry about it at all. Yeah, I haven't been there either. It's fine. Sure. Huh, I don't recognize that spawn. Sadly, I do in fact only have base damage plus 0.6 right now. Maybe it's on kill I have the chance to spawn a spider. I don't know. Either way, that spider does five times my damage, so we can be friends. That's how I feel. That was weird how that tear flew off in such a strange direction. Sadly, it's really hard to control when that TNT blows up. When you have special tears, so excuse me, my ear is itchy behind my head to it. Okay, there we go. Sure. That's that would be my first following familiar. So I'm gonna pass on that because that could you know, I'm feeling the incubus basically. Go away! I mean by days being dumb. Concuss whatever you want it to be. Good use item. Does four times my damage, like twice or something like that. Gets allotted. As you can see, one shots all them. No soul hearts out of that? You gotta be kidding me fine because I gain a little bit of damage just for going in there. Well, coming out of there. Of course, since I have flight, it's free to go in. Which is the only reason I went in. But the game's being a bit stingy with soul hearts. So it's being a bit stingy with damage for me right now, basically. If I don't get enough soul hearts, I can't really get enough damage. Oh, that's a good... That's fine. Stain. So I'm just gonna try and always get near it when it goes underground. Because that lets me bring it out of the underground safely as possible. So, there you go. That's the way that the goal works. Alright, we got him easy peasy. And we got a one damage up, 10% double room chance increase. That is useful. I uh, think I'll. 12 minutes. I'll full clear. That's cool. That's a secret room. And now I can go. Okay, so I'll just get three of these. Fourth one's reserved for those nine, because nine is more than five. I know that's a crazy concept, but believe it or not, it's true. Look at that. Little haunt doing all that work. What a dude. Neat. Gotta luck up. I like luck. Didn't I have one more bomb? Strength is cool. Magic mushroom for a room. Increases. Well, it's all stats up, including a 1.5 damage multiplier. Okay, since I can buy all of this stuff, I guess I will. So Diplopia is cursed. Just so you know. 
it makes it so that I can create a duplicate of all of the pickups, items, things like that in the room. And that's like items or item pedestals. So if I have an empty item pedestal, I can use it and it'll spawn a new item. If I have an item pedestal with an item, I can use it and it'll spawn that item. It's a one-time use and it's great and I want to take it to the chest. But every time I get it, I die. So, see if we can break the curse. Alright, buddy. Let's do this. Let's do this. Nope. Can't use that. So this is no problem. Flight makes a lot of my life easier. That should probably be a secret room above. Yeah, above looks like it might be. That's nice. Someone's murdering someone over the way over there. Don't even know how. But everyone just kind of died. Alright, well that's not a secret room. Glad I waited. I don't have that many bombs. Almost there. Little haunt can't keep up. Figured it out. Alright, this is a very useful spot. Not that useful an item, but it's fine. When I come into contact with an enemy, it gets poisoned for damage over time. If that enemy dies, it has a chance to drop a black heart. Got half off in shop. Sometimes that's rounded up, sometimes rounded down. No thank you, friend. Strength can be used to steal from the devil room, so it's kind of useful. Beggar's useful as well. See if I can't use this in the devil room this floor so I can take the beggar with me. Because that's another thing to dupe. Cool with that. Personally, all right, that one went rather smoothly. Well, that dude's feared, not going to attack me, so everything works out in the end. I hate dealing with these guys just because they spawn those guys. Get out of here. I haven't found a curse room yet. I would like to do that. Sadly, there's going to be no way to get this room done quickly. And sadly, it takes three seconds for the multi-dimensional baby to get where I need it so that I can do more damage. And by then the enemy is either dead or elsewhere because of the nature of these enemies. And this is like a great multi-dimensional baby room. Oh well. Can't check in there because I have too much health. Ooh, wow, that lag spike. It's only started happening since I got the two PC set up. It's rare, but it happens. It's confusing. Five bombs, I can check for that magic mushroom. That's strange. This is unfortunate as well.
Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. So that's the only damage I took this floor up to the boss. That's pretty good. Alright. See what the boss has. So this skirty will not shoot at me. Which means I can semi-consistently do double damage. Which would be better from here. Since that way I kill that thing on spawn. And for the most part, these guys can't shoot me. It's another syringe, so we're two-thirds spun. That gives me 0.6 speed up, and then some range and shot height up. All right. So, I'm gonna take both. Uh, but then I have to give up my Diplopia. And that's a problem. Oh well. Strength. Gotta do it just for the Soul Heart. And then we get the Leviathan transformation for taking a certain subset of Devil Room items. Leviathan gives me flight and two black hearts, so everything works out in the end. And I can check in here and determine that I'll totally do it. Guppy's head, one third Guppy. It's useful. Spawns two to four kamikaze flies, usable every room. Wow, my charge is a lot worse than I thought it was. So now we're in much better condition, I would say. That wasn't what I was hoping for in the Devil Room, by the way. But it worked out. In the end. Sure. Totally worth. Not totally worth, though. Why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? It's a door. That is nothing. So we're already past boss rush and this is only depths one. How you know you're uh, taking your sweet time, yeah? I knew I could trust you, little haunt. None of those are dupes. That's kind of magical. Okay, you're dead. Let's see what you got. Five more bombs. Now my bombs home in on enemies really strongly as well. Like, they made it a lot more useful of an item as far as homing was concerned. Oh, good. We got the double greed in a row luck. I love that that's a thing. By which I mean I really don't. Okay, cool. Thank you. You stay away from me. Never want to see you again. Now, actually, Dingle's a good boss, and I would prefer it over many of the other bosses. Alright, gain some damage there. I totally went up before that, but that doesn't matter. Oops. Fortunately, that doesn't mess up the recording at all now, because you can just see what the monitor is seeing rather than the game. I accidentally hit F. That's all. I guess I'm good to go this time, because I've seen everything I want to see. Dead. Let's see what's in here. Neither of these is particularly useful, so I'm totally okay. 
And I'll totally take Little Gish shoot slowing tears. It's not bad. Its tears do get doubled as well by the multi-dimensional baby, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I've got seven keys, why not? That's why not. Works for me. So this floor we can't get greed in the shop, unfortunately. I believed in you and you let me down. You were not fast enough on your kill. And away we go. Down to three health. That was close, that totally should have hit me, but I'm not gonna complain. That, I don't even know why I was still there. But we got a black heart, so... Maybe I just wanted that half black heart interval. I was thinking ahead. RNG manipulation. Two spades doubles my keys. So I guess before I use a key, I have to see if, uh... You know? I've gotten any... That gotten any more? Want to use that yet? Etc. All right. Dang, you didn't die. Too strong for me. Blow you up. All right. Didn't use the key. Though I should have blown him up first, so I'll just not. And then we'll leave and I'll feel a little better about myself if he drops a thing. Thanks, little gish. Okay, he didn't. We're, we're fine. Everything's fine, don't worry. Blank card, though. Tower. Okay, without that. It's my last donation machine for the run, so I may as well give everything to it. Or that. Thanks for the key. Okay, I can't use batteries. Though I might like the, uh, well, it would be really overpowered if this item could be used more than once. Like really, really way more overpowered than it already is. And it's pretty darn overpowered. Now, Diplopia is actually like really well balanced. I like it a lot. Okay. Not having a map to look at makes everything a little tougher. See, I could have skipped that room entirely. Cool. Oh, I found you. Alright, well that was quick. And since I have Diplopia... The tower. Later dudes. Since I knew I wasn't going to use the tower for anything actually meaningful. Okay. Okay. It's another time that this happens in a left room. I honestly don't know if I've ever entered this room from the right. I don't know if it's possible even though it's symmetrical. Or at least pseudo-symmetrical, you know. It's close enough that I haven't paid attention to see if... Uh, because I always enter from the left. I haven't paid attention to the center or the right relative to symmetry. And that's one of those things you kind of notice on rooms where you enter from other locations. Like if I could enter from the top, but the top would be a pretty bad spawn in that room. So I'm okay. Devil, plus two damage for the room. Which is solid. Okay, so I went even for that, but really that just means I gained damage. That's a secret room. Screw it. Drops bombs for me every couple of rooms. Which includes troll bombs, so it's actually not very good. And I'd usually skip it. <coughs> Sorry. 
Oh, duplicate. Okay, I was gonna blow up the beggar for that devil room chance. But I guess what are you gonna do? Got it anyway. Synth oil is a damage up by one. Oh god, I look so weird with the normal face now. And some range up. And it was my third syringe, which means it's going to give me the spun transformation, which is 0.15 speed up, 2 damage up. And something else, I think, maybe. It's pretty good, though. I am okay with that. Alright, you got me. I'll press the buttons. Oh, they're going to blow them up for me. Right, that's fine. So yeah, I should be pretty strong. Okay. I'm hearing weird noises right now that are coming from the game, like definitely. Which is ever more confusing. Yeah, my damage is like really good now. Since I did just pick up three damage up with a knife. So. Sadly, that's not a useful use item, but I'll pick it up. Just to make sure. I'm feeling pretty good about the whole not having a cursed diplopia thing right now. Pick that up too, of course. Whoa, buddy. Honestly, I don't want to fight these guys just because they take so long to split. Forever animation. But we got there. Wasn't too bad. Oh, come on. You can do better. You can do better, I know you. But it's fine. Because we'll just go left here. And then there's the bomb. And then here we find the boss. Oh, come on. Why, why is it like that? Why is it like that? Why am I so good at picking the wrong direction? Thanks for the bomb. That was perfect. Beautiful, in fact. Now please, let me go. I just want to leave this prison. Okay, that was close. That will open. Will not be worth. Oh, wow. Swoon 2. Took a while in that animation. Okay, Krampus, pretty much useless. The one time I get Lump of Coal, time when I need at least. It might work with the knife, but I don't know. Increasing the damage that it deals, the farther it is from my character. Since it stayed open, I actually do want to check this card. The world? Oh yeah, heck yeah. See what we got. Down it is. Dang, didn't start moving soon enough. Makes no difference to me, however. The double Duke of Flies. Savage, man. 
Okay, thank you for not deciding that I was getting hit. Because that is perfectly within Daddy Longlegs' powers. Uh, yes. Let's get this. Cool. I went down instead of right. But that doesn't matter because it took like half a second. Good life, right there. Okay. Okay, poison everyone. Got nothing for it. Oh well. Dang, charging for the perfect amount of time, really tough to do. So you know. We got it. Okay. Don't need literally any of these. So if I pick them all up, I get four new items. So tears sometimes will deflect away from me when they feel like it. I get two soul hearts as well. Two damage up from every other tier, which I guess in this case is either every other throw or a 50% chance when I throw. Speed up, shot speed up. Two red hearts of recovery. Pills are all identified. Can't be bad, only good or neutral. And boom, new items. I get a tears up when I, well, when I get hit, that spills. When I move over the spill, I get a tears up. Gemini attack stuff nearby. Mongo baby. Shoots at a high fire rate using the tears of my other familiars. And Undefined teleports me to certain rooms, but in this case, the most important of which, the error room, does not spawn on the chest, so it doesn't even matter that it can teleport me there. Which pretty much means I'm mostly just going to use it to teleport to uh, the secret room many times, and maybe the top secret room, which would take me close to the boss. If I'm lucky enough to get that teleport. But it's just not a useful item this far in the game. It's an unfortunate life. Ghost baby shoots spectral tears. Pretty useless as well. Don't worry. It's cool. Okay, so this is probably the boss in somewhere in this area. And I'm gonna go ahead and guess down. Oh, I found it. Okay, so I just face tank him. Got my black heart, which was the dream. And we done. No problem, right? Ugh. So that is going to do it for today. Samson. Got to do some Samson things in the end. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.